Daniel. All right, let's see what's happening with uh, um, other markets. We know Bitcoin is hammered uh, with most um, altcoins um, this weekend with the war from the U.S. SEC on the crypto market. We see uh, hit neutral sentiment in the market um, right now. We see the market is struggling, you know, at this point. Over the weekend, was, it was a bloodbath, you know, for this market. Let's look at the top cryptocurrencies we track. We see Bitcoin that trading 25,860 is up uh, 0.27% this morning. But uh, if you look at other altcoins, they have been hammered there. Binance there, down 4.96%. Just Cardano trying to ick up again. They're up 5.94%. Um, Let's bring in Olumide Addition on our financial market analyst. Hello, Olumide. Great to have you. Good morning. Laji. <laughs> Olumide, quite, quite, uh, quite a weekend, you know, I must say, for the um, crypto market. But, but what's happening, you know, with Binance? What's this war, you know, with, with SEC Securities and Exchange Commissions? And Binance, we, we know it started in the U.S., but right here in Nigeria, we got that um, a, 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 a secular from the Nigeria uh, Securities and Exchange Commission. It said, Binance Nigeria Limited, the Nigerians should not trade with that platform. That platform is not regulated by the SEC right here in Nigeria. What's going on, Lumide? Yeah, just like you rightly highlighted, you know, at the beginning of the year, you could recall the outlook has been a regulatory uh, battle with the crypto market, but things got escalated, you know, and one could say that uh, definitely the Security Exchange Commission uh, faced um, stakeholders in the crypto space, particularly Coinbase and um, Binance. And if you understand the systemic importance, this uh, stakeholders play in the crypto market. One will understand why we're seeing uh, such cascade of losses, you know, over the weekend. And also, you know, back home, home front, you know, uh, the Security Exchange Commission of Nigeria also tempted the morals of many crypto investors because uh, we felt that uh, the incumbent and leader of the country, uh, President Bola Tinubu, would keep to his um, manifesto on uh, ensuring a um, roadmap on around blockchain technology. And, you know, uh, coming with the CBN crypto ban, um, that seemed not to be. So that news also really shocked um, some um, Nigeria crypto fans. But how bit it may, you know, the market is looking like it's picking up and um, liquidation suggests that it's not as bad as we saw last year, May, because uh, just a few minutes ago, the Prime Minister of England really commended um, a venture capital of making uh, starting a crypto school in the future world, world's fifth largest economy. So it tells you that despite the fact that we're seeing regulatory battle, I think um, what makes this difference is that we are seeing support from powerful blocks like the US Congress. We're seeing Republicans kicking against Gary Gensler's um, unethical um, statements around crypto spaces. Because first of all, you mentioned um, Ethereum was a security. Now you shifted to commodities. Now you're moving to um, different asset classes. And you know, pretty much, I think Bitcoin has made a strong resilience despite the heat up. That's why it's really staying at about right. 6,000 peak. But um, altcoins are really the ones that are hammered. Many of them have lost a third of their value. Right. And you know, Robin Hood, yeah, Robin Hood really listed some away. So it's really a sad um, Wow. Oui. Quite, quite, yeah. quite a tough time to be a, a crypto investor in this market with all this um, regulatory issues and altcoins being hammered, you know, because of all this news. But it remains to be seen how all of this uh, uh, plays out. Looking out uh, for this week, see what happens with uh, Binance and uh, the US SEC. Thank you so much, Olumide Additional, financial market analyst. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, uh, that's a wrap on the program. Thank you so much for watching. So much to unpack today and uh, this week, you know, for uh, most of this market. Don't forget to join us at 1.30 uh, on Business Incorporated for more updates and developments in the world of business. And remember, you can watch this again on our YouTube channel. Just flip over to YouTube, search for Channel Television, click on our videos, and you can watch all our productions. Thank you for watching. I'm Laddie Williams. Happy Democracy Day.